Soapbox Sessions is a great community of people who all uh, respect each other and, and respect that we're all trying to find our own way when in, in the performance sense, whether we're, and, and it's a great place for people to experiment. I can't tell you how many times I've walked on stage only knowing 90% of my lyrics, or you see a comedian that's constantly pulling out a piece of paper, and that's, that's great because we all feel very open to experiment, whether it's, and whether it's like your first time on stage, or, you know, your 80th time. You go to this one because, like some of the other ones out there, you kind of, like, are just like, really bad. Like, really, like, you just go, you show up, and you're performing for comics that are just like angry, bitter, just looking over their set, just like, Mah! and it's like, okay, well, let's just uh, lose some confidence. You come here and it's like happy, and you're like, oh, wow. Jason's just so full of life and just makes everybody else happy. You're like, all right, super. And then you almost forget about all the other crap shows. And then you're like, all right. Yeah, it, it definitely is. It, it gives it, it has that sense of community, like kind of like a like a high school kind of vibe, like where everybody knows everybody. You show up, you're just like, hey, what's up? You know, everybody is almost rooting for for you know the next person on stage. You know what? I'd say offhand, there's definitely a consistent community vibe here. Uh, I've been to a lot of open mics where there's a lot of new people that come every week, or um, a lot of people are just checking out new places, and you know they'll come along another open mic. Um, and I feel like this one's definitely really supported by the people here, or someone will just be walking by and want to keep coming back every week just after the first show that they hear. There's people that want to boo on the inner level of booing. And you can feel that at other open mics where people don't appreciate someone who just got up to the stage their first time, or someone who's still new to expressing their, their poetry, you know? And, and to have that kind of obvious good-natured rule and making a, a joke about it and even like letting people know like but we're serious you know like support your fellow artists support support your fellow human beings you know what i mean it's really a beautiful thing and uh and in terms of community i think that's what every community would really need is that sense of supporting each other even if you don't think their work is the best work you've ever seen in your life it's not about that it's about them getting up there and sharing something with you it's about you listening to something that you probably don't even want to listen to but that still means that you have an open mind and that's, I think, the beauty of it.